Welcome to the demonstration video for the Dark Energy Survey Image Browser. The Image Browser is created by an eight-member team for CS428 at the University of Illinois. The Dark Energy Survey is an international effort of 120 scientists and 23 institutions around the world to investigate the acceleration of cosmic expansion. We asked one of the team's customers, Dr. Robert Grundle, to explain more about the Dark Energy Survey and what kind of tool the project needed. The Dark Energy Survey will cover the South Galactic Cap, roughly 5,000 square degrees of the sky, to measure the properties of galaxies throughout that area, trying to constrain how the universe is expanding, in particular the forces causing it to accelerate, which we call dark energy. I'm the production scientist, so I'm part of what's called Dark Energy Survey Data Management, which is at NCSA at the University of Illinois. We're responsible for reducing the data and making it um, public to the collaboration and eventually all the astronomers, anybody actually. So over the course of the survey, we're going to obtain 2.5 petabytes of imaging data. It covers 500 nights and we need to be able to track as that data is processed um, the intermediate products so that we can find places where there are problems in the production software. And this allows us to follow the provenance of the data and look at the data and its products at the same time. Well, before this, we basically could only pull up a single image at a time when we had some clue that there might be a problem in this place, but this actually allows us to look at many images at once, along with their both um, predecessor and child products. Here is the web interface we have created. Our team's goal is to help the astronomers wade through the vast amount of stored data so they can quickly find scientifically interesting data. We created the web interface to solve this problem by allowing them to search for, preview, and download images. The first thing we'll want to do is query for some images. The left panel is the query pane. First, I'll search for files with SCIX in their name. In the results, you can see a list of thumbnails. I can select an artifact to see some of its metadata. A big part of the NCSA project is using a supercomputer to process the raw images with a long sequence of filters and error corrections. A common query need is to see the process history of any given image. We employed a tree structure coupled with lazy loading to allow the user to explore relationships between artifacts and processes. If I want to download one of these files to my local machine, I can click the download button and it will automatically start the entire 48 megabyte download. If I want to download all of the files in the result list, I can simply click the Batch Download button. Now a shell script has been created that will easily download all the files in the result set. Additionally, we can view the images without downloading the entire file. Each exposure can be over a gigabyte, so our product uses Leaflet.js to load only the portion viewed on the screen and allow for zooming in and out of the image, much like Google Maps does. Earlier I noticed that camera CCD61 seems to be broken. I can investigate this further by adding a second query parameter for CCD. By using our product, investigations like this are a much quicker process.